Are you looking for the best headlamps in your budget? Well in today's video, we break down the top 5 best headlamps that are available on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability, and more to see the more information about these product. I found these products much helpful for people like you. You can check out the description below also make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay so let's get started with the video. Number 5. Black Diamond Spot 325. The Black Diamond Spot 325 is the next step up from the original Black Diamond Spot. All of the great features of the spot remain, and Black Diamond Spot 325 has upgraded much of its performance over the cheaper model to make the $10 difference well worth it. Black Diamond released the original spot in 2018, and the Spot 325 was released in early 2019. The younger, newer edition is just marginally lighter, a fraction of an ounce, but packs more of a punch for its size. Like the original Spot, the Spot 325 has both white and red lights and the very convenient memory function which remembers the Spot 325 sets itself apart with its increased battery life. You'll manage 200 hours of illumination at the ideal power setting, beating the Spot by 20 hours. The lights are controlled with an on-off switch as well as a button to cycle through different light outputs. Number 4. Petzl Tekina 150 Lumens. The Tekina is a great budget option that still has most of the things you would want out of a tactical headlamp. The Tekina comes with three power options for close, medium, and long-range illumination. The Tekina doesn't come with all the bells and whistles some other headlamps advertise, but that isn't always a bad thing. There's something to be said for simple elegance, and the Tekina has that in spades. I really do like the fact that Petzl offers their hybrid rechargeable battery option. The core battery fits in the AAA battery compartment which gives you more flexibility. I'm definitely an advocate of rechargeable batteries. In my opinion, they're cheaper and much more convenient in the long run. It may be a hassle to wait for them to recharge, but carrying extra batteries is also a bit of trouble. Number 3. Phoenix HL60R the body of the Phoenix HL60R is roughly the size of a large roll of quarters, which is impressive given its battery life and light output. If you're rough on your deer, like many of us, you may like the fact that the HL60R has a third strap that goes over the top of your head. A quality tactical headlamp will need to stay in place through every sort of activity, and the additional strap provides some added stability. The light is toggled on and off with a single button but a switch on the side allows you to select between the five output modes, including red light and emergency strobe. Like most tactical headlamps, the HL60R has a red light feature to preserve night vision. The chassis of the headlamp can tilt up to 160 degrees, allowing you to keep the beam of light where you want it without craning your neck uncomfortably. Number 2. Phoenix HM65R the Phoenix HM65R is another high-quality headlamp that boasts an extremely high light output and a lightweight and small frame. The chassis of the headlamp can rotate 160 degrees, giving you almost full vertical deflection both up and down. This is incredibly helpful when you're working on a task and want to keep from needing to crane your neck to point the light at what you need illuminated. While the 1400 lumen output advertised by Phoenix is certainly exciting, it's important to remember that physical limitations on the batteries will mean that the HM65R will only be able to sustain its maximum output for a short time. Number 1. Petzl NAO 575. With 575 lumens of light output, the NAO, literally, outshines most of the competition. You won't need to worry about constantly adjusting the power either because the NAO will automatically detect ambient light around you and adjust the brightness as necessary. Light sensors inside the headlamp will dictate exactly how much light you need in any given situation. Don't worry about losing manual control though because the NAO's output can still be adjusted at your touch between 40 lumens and max power. Battery life will vary considerably with the NAO with the automatic adjustments, but Petzl advertises between 6 and 12 hours on higher settings. The NAO has a removable rechargeable battery with the capability of swapping it out for two AAA batteries. This should only be reserved for emergencies though, as the performance of the headlamp is significantly reduced when in this configuration. 
I do appreciate the reserve mode built in, which reduces the light output to 20 lumens for the last hour of battery life automatically to help avoid leaving you blind in the dark.